did you, you know, and I'll tell you where this question came from. I, uh, I interviewed Tony Salemi and he is a global leader in uh, coaching and self-help and speaking. This guy is top of the charts from a global standpoint. And he asked me a question on my show. He said, Sean, if I charge you a million dollars, no, he said, how much would you be willing to pay to acquire knowledge to make you the best at what you want to be? Mm. And my answer to him was, as much as I can afford. And he was like, huh? He was like, okay, let me ask it a different way. Would you be willing to pay a million dollars to acquire the knowledge to get in front of a, a, a person like himself to become the best at, you know, what I want to be. And I was like, uh, again, if I can afford it. And he was like, that is the problem with most people. He was like, for me, I don't care what it costs. If I had to go out there, sell my home, sell my car, live on the street, do whatever, but I am going to get taught by the best. I am going to get information from the best. That is what is going to make you the best. Mm. So I ask you, did you invest in yourself as you were transitioning? I know you have a wonderful um, relationship with Les Brown, who is arguably the GOAT in terms <laughs> of public speaking. But did you say to yourself, you know what? Public speaking, I can talk. I've been talking my whole life. You know, how, how difficult could it be? Or did you invest in yourself? And can you talk to our audience about the importance of investing in their dreams? I think what's important is we, yes, it's you have to invest in yourself. In fact, Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in America, once said the greatest investment you can make is not the investment in the stock market, not the investment in real estate, shoes, bags, Rolls Royces, or jewelry. He said the greatest investment you can make is the investment in yourself. And here's why. It's not what you get that makes you valuable. It's what you become that makes you valuable. And you can only become valuable when you invest in yourself. And sometimes what we have to understand is it's not just the investment financially, but it's the investment in your time. Yes, I may have spent money on the book or the course or the seminar, but what did I do with my time after I invested the money? So when we talk about Les Brown being my spiritual father, and I'm privileged to have Les Brown as my spiritual father. Yes, you father. are, brother. Yes, he you wasn't are. Always that, it wasn't always my spiritual father. In fact, I didn't get into why I jumped into, why I jumped up so powerful one morning with 93 cents in my account. I read the book, Live Your Dreams by Les Brown. And in it, he said, you have something special. You have greatness in you. And it was the first time in my life that I heard something that resonated with me. I had greatness in me. And so for that long, I wanted to meet Les Brown. I wanted to just say, hey man, thank you for impacting and empowering, inspiring me. And so I, I, I remember a few years ago, I went to this event in Philadelphia. It was a Get Motivated seminar. It was the first time I spent money on myself to go to a seminar. And I sat in this seminar, thought I was going to take a picture with Les Brown just to tell him how impactful he was in my life. But when I got to take the photo with him, the person said, you bought the wrong package. This is why I'm always VIP, always first class, always top of the top when I go to these events now because I never want to be in a place where I may miss an opportunity, right? And so I missed this opportunity to take a picture with him because I skimmed for the titanium package instead of the platinum package, right? It was a couple of dollars less. I figured I could still get in there because I got the platinum package. Here's how it changed my life. I went back to my seat. I was frustrated because I wanted to tell him how important he was in my life. But it was that moment that I made the decision. I'm not supposed to be in his life as a picture taker. I'm supposed to be in his life as a spiritual son. That was four years ago. I'm in his life as a spiritual son. That's the importance of making the decision, but it's also the importance of investing in yourself. In the beginning, 
we sometimes want the information, we want the advice, and we want it for free. Here's what free is, Sean. Free is easy. Free is convenient. Free is not really challenging. So in order for me to actually get to the point that I was at or I'm at right now in his life, guess what I had to do? I had to invest in those coaching programs with him. I had to consistent, and then the next level up, and then the next level up, and then the next level up, and I'm spending thousands upon thousands, but guess what? I'm getting myself in position for the greatest speaker to actually see who I really am because I'm willing to invest in myself. And that's the thing, we're not willing to invest in ourselves from our self-education, but we're willing to invest in ourselves in materialistic things, things that don't bring us value. We'd rather spend money than invest money. We should always look at our life as an investment, not as spending. Invest, we get the return. Spend, we lose. Powerful, so powerful. What's up guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video, truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.